so today we will uh, work a little bit with the uh, serger you know this year is the uh, 100 anniversary genome anniversary okay so genome made some machines specific for um to celebrate the 100th anniversary so i will work with the model number 793 pg so it is a serger four thread three thread a serger has many options okay and uh, i'm sure you you know how you will know how to thread it and you know what the serger is doing the serger is doing um uh, uh, cleaning the edge of the fabric, sews fabric, especially uh, knit fabric, stretched fabric, but even woven fabric, but it depends on the style. And also has a, a few decorative function. And this is what I would like to, uh, to work with today because uh, what do we do with, with the serger? You know, we tend to forget those uh, easy function so we'll work today with um uh, i'm looking for the word flat lock pin tuck and rolled hem of course we're going to work with a few different thread so i'll switch camera okay remove my name because now you know my name so you see the machine model number 793 pj so it's a fourth i can use four four thread four is that this a four thread three thread wide three thread narrow and what makes narrow or wide is the needle position needle position is or left or right so your knife is here and there's two needle of course if i remove this one i'll have a three thread wide if I remove the other one, I have three thread narrow. Okay, just logical. So this is what we're going to work. So I will do a little, uh, no, I won't do a close up to, to already. I want to point out something. So you see the machine and for sure over the internet, you can find Genome, um, uh, social media, YouTube, name it. For sure, they're going to teach you how to thread the machine. Today, I will play with the needle plate function, the cutting, I won't, we will cut, but just to show you, and the, um, the, the width of, the cutting width. This is what we're going to, to do, with, to play with, okay? Also, Genome comes, the machine comes, the serger comes with some, uh, some um, little garbage can with the tools you need, huh? the needle, and if you don't remember what uh, what needle to use, it's right here and just above the needle. H A S P needle. Tin fabric size 11. Thick fabric size 14. Okay. And also, you have your tweezers and you have your small screwdriver for the needle. But because it's the anniversary, 100 anniversary genome, there is something look at the nice extension table so you know you have a bigger surface of sewing it's more stable instead of your fabric falling here okay i really like it it comes with it in genome canada anyway so we're like i said we're going to do flat lock this flat lock is done over a seam over the seam just as a decoration instead of top stitching so flat lock okay this is a fleece but this one is thinner i hope you see the difference with the thickness okay thick thinner so i made it narrow wide let me make sure you see well the difference oh yes you see you see well okay and at the end we'll do the rolled hem so we need to thread the machine it's threaded i don't want to uh, because i want to i want to talk i want to teach huh? uh, the threading you'll see many videos over the uh, 
like I said over the social media. So there's no need for me to do it again. But I will talk to you about thread. So of course when you need you need thread to, to or to sew or to surge, okay? And the thread comes, Genome thread comes in different package with the most popular uh, colors. And you know, you cannot take any kind of thread. You need the thread specifically to go, f to, to be able, to, not to burn when you go fast. You know, this machine goes at 1300 stitch a minute. So you need the, the thread that is, um, is made for that high, p high speed, uh, um, uh, high, for the high speed, I should say, okay? So this is Genome, it's 100% polyester. And Genome, and you, anyway, in Genome Canada, it, Genome Canada is um, distributor of the Madeira, I'm looking for the word, Madeira, <coughs> Madeira thread. <coughs> Sorry. So this is another way to buy, you have more, more thread. So this is, a regular serger thread. There's something else that Genome can provide. Still from Madeira, and it's called, uh, maybe you don't see well because I used it, huh? it's called Aeroflock, while the regular thread is called Aerolock. Aerolock is a regular twisted thread and Aeroflock is a stretchy polyester thread. You see, fluffy. See when I pull? Okay. This always goes only in the looper. Never, never in a needle. Needle, always use the, um, the regular, um, regular uh, tw uh, twisted thread. So, you know the machine can do four thread. Four thread, that means two needle, two looper, upper looper, lower looper. So what I did with this sample here, I just joined two thicknesses of the fleece. Um, not polar fleece, this is a um, regular fleece, you know, for a sweatsuit, okay? So what I did is I did a seam just to show you the width of the machine. The, you know the cutting width the cutting width okay which is adjustable and we'll play with this a little bit later okay so my two needles my upper looper and my lower looper i i run the the opposite for you to understand and to you know and to uh, to, to see okay so this is a fleece for thread but this is cotton a light cotton so if i sew on woven fabric, it is possible. Look at my seam. Look, look, if I pull, no problem here, huh? So I can sew, of course, I won't do, um, I will not use it if you, you, if you sew silk, pure silk or something, uh, you know, but if you make a, a, a denim blouse, you know, jean, uh, jean, uh, skirt, uh, it's no problem to use four thread because you have your security thread here. So woven fabric, knit fabric, okay, knit, woven. And here I use only three thread, you see? I remove one of the needle thread. So sometimes there's no need to use, um, to use four thread. So. So the functionality of this, you can see a little jugging that I made here, okay? With the machine, <coughs> excuse me. So you can use four thread, three thread wide, three thread narrow, and rolled hem. So this is what the machine is doing. But the way we fold the fabric or we place the fabric underneath, you can, uh, play with um, with those those thread. So I'll remove these. What I'm going to teach you first is to do a row, uh, not a road hem, a pin tuck. So to do a pin tuck, what makes you choose between three thread wide or three thread narrow? It's the thickness of the thread, uh, the, 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 uh, the fabric. I'm sorry, 
the thickness of the fabric okay so let's say I use this little knit you know it's a single knit you see huh? it uh, it rolls over so what I did here with the machine I'll do a close-up I'll do a close-up okay so I remove my left needle it's here okay if I can give you an advice when you remove it tight the screw right away because the vibration will make it uh, go away and uh, good luck to find it it's so tiny okay so to do a pin tuck the difference between pin tuck pin tuck and flat lock is the way you position your fabric on the machine on the machine the feet are snap on just at the back i push and you are moving the camera for you to see better okay i i think it's okay yes so look what you have here first you have your feet dogs okay and they're split in two because uh, of the um, differential feed the machine has different differential differential feed okay in english it's like my tongue doesn't twist the right way my mouth so this is your upper knife but look here what you have you have a little uh, i would say wire brooch okay and this is around these that the the the, 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 the stitch are form okay so I remove the left needle because I did already my sample. I don't want to do this in front of you. I'll do the narrow one this time. Okay. So on my foot, I have the left needle position, right needle position. And this is important to know because these will be our guide to do or a pin tuck or um uh, a, a pin tuck or a, um, a flat lock okay okay oh, yeah i think i'm okay so pin tuck or what a, a, a or a flat lock it's done on the right side of the fabric okay on the right side and you don't cut i don't like myself to remove the the, the, the cutter the upper uh, knife because it's like i have no guide you know i'm afraid to go um to 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 to, to go wrong so what i want to do is i'm folding my fabric i'm on the right side of the fabric and i will guide my fold my folding guiding my right needle position okay so i will follow this wire here and this mark here the right mark the right wire you don't have to lift your foot you know why i don't like it because people start to sew they forget to put it down but look at our feet it's so easy just to lift them up this is what i'll i do and and i align my fat the fold of my fabric uh just after this just after this mark the right mark okay on the side of the machine you have the stitch land differential feed differential feed help you not to have fabric to stretch too much and i will use the stitch land at three but whoops but you can have rolled hem from one to four so i will leave it at three which is about normal and the ratio for um the differential feed is 0 0.5 up to 2.5 about one is neutral okay i can come back here and what i'm saying to you is all in your instruction book so um but you know when somebody tells you it's sometimes easier to um so okay i'm going to sew 
I leave all my tension at three because I want to do a pin tuck, which is done on right side of the fabric. Okay, so I don't cut and I don't go just just after my my um, whoops, I did a little bubble. Okay, and then I'm pulling. But it won't go further up. So you see, I have a stand-up stitch, stand-up. We call that a pin tuck. And it's narrow. How can I make it as narrow as possible? It is with your cutting width. Okay? Open the front door, the side door, and I'll zoom. This is the upper knife, and underneath is the lower knife. Lower knife, you can never touch it. Keep your eyes here. Uh, whoops. Okay. Look, it's hard, it, it's stiff, you know? So with my, with the big button here, if it's too hard to turn, just disengage a little bit your knife and look at your cutting width. Look at this, how wide it, it goes. You see, look, narrow, wide. You can stop at any time. You know when you sew, who's the boss? The fabric, all the time. You have to obey to the reaction of the fabric. So as narrow as you can, you'll have a narrow pin tuck. You want a wide pin tuck on, on thicker fabric. Well, wide, okay? And when it's too stiff, your button, I'm using this button here. When it's too stiff, I disengage my knife. How do I disengage my knife? I have two buttons on the other side. So this is my the width of the, the, the cutting width. And this is to disengage the knife. I have to push and put the knife down. Wait, I want you to see the whole thing. Okay, push, you see the knife is coming? Push, and if you want, you can put the knife all the way down or just on the side, uh, according, you know, to let the time to move your, um, your width. Okay, and then don't forget to put it up again. So I have a narrow, cutting with which and I don't cut but at least you know so okay now I put back I close my mesh I close everything I put back my uh, garbage uh, garbage can my table okay so I did a pin tuck that stands up but let's do more so I'm taking an, another fabric like um, uh, for polo fabric and the polo fabric has some kind of a stripe, which is uh, in French, I don't know in English, chevron. So, uh, well, in English, I have no clue what it is. Okay, I'm folding and I, I like this fabric when I teach because it guides me, you know, I have my lines already. So what I did is I put my fabric just before the knife. I don't want it to cut. But now, this time, what I want to do, I want to be able to open my seam. So what I will do is, I will really go just a little bit before my right wire, okay? But I'll play with my tension. So I have a three thread narrow. What I want to do, I want to do, I want to make half of the stitch in the fabric and half of the stitch with nothing and then i will pull and open my seam it's going to look like a top stitch okay to be able to do this i will lower the needle tension why do i take this tension because i remove my left needle so this is the right needle lower the tension I don't touch too much yet because you have to see the reaction of the fabric, number one reason. 
And second reason, it always depends on the thread that you're using here. So on, the, on my sample here, I use the fluffy thread, Aero Flock. So I had to play with my tension. If I lower this one, I will increase that one to make sure this looper, which is my lower looper, lower looper, pull my needle to have a flat opening. Okay. So I'll, I'll make a little bit further for you to see the whole thing. Okay. And then we go. So I like to bring my fabric close to the needle right away to start good. Okay. So I'm not going fast and my eyes are there. I'm using this, I'm doing it now because um, I want to show you what I can do with the machine, but there's a lot of accessories. So I'll do a, a big close up. I want you to understand what is going on. Look at the stitch. Half of the stitch is in the white fabric and the other half of the stitch is in no fabric at all. Oh, that's too fast. Okay. So you see? Whoops, it's too, too, oh, you see very well, look at this. So half of the stitch is in my fabric, the other half is empty with nothing. That will allow me, this, let's look at the reverse. Look what I'm doing now. No, I'm too, this is too close. Look at this. Oh, la la. So I'm pulling, I'm opening my seam to flat. Let, let me just open the whole thing. Okay. And I have my flat lock, totally flat. But something is there that I don't like. My upper looper is too loose. You remember, I didn't touch it. So I will increase the tension. And I always do one number by one number. I don't go from three to, uh, to six. Whoops, whoop, 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 whoop. okay, oh yeah, yeah, I, I'm telling you, I need more hands. Okay, so what I'll do, let's try again, another uh, row to see if, I'll bring my fabric close to my needle, following my guide, and what is my, which guide do I have? My, the mark of my needle position and my uh, brooch. Uh, what should I say? Brooch? Should I say uh, wire? Wire. Okay. So you see again, half is done in the fabric and the other half. Look at this. Look how easy it opens. Hey, look at this. And you know, you can use this on the right side of the fabric if you want, huh? That's something else you can use. You know, there's no end with uh, creativity. And let's say, not bad. Not bad, it could be better. So then I'll increase a little bit more my tension. And let's go for the last time. You always have leftover, right? So, and when you practice, you should have practiced in the same. Oh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Hey, look at this. How flat it is. And this one is three thread narrow. So if I had another, uh, look how flat it is. Huh? Per it's, it's perfect. If I do a little bit of ironing, I'll be okay. It's not puckering. Oh, it's, it's perfect. So I had, according to this fabric, I had to increase my upper looper thread, okay? So this is one thing. So 
if you go closer, oh, let me do it here. When you want to do a, a real um, a, a pit tuck, you go very close without cutting. Okay, and you keep all your tension at three. And then, but you don't cut, huh? You follow the guide. You follow your guide. So this would be a pin tuck. Everything I'm saying to you is uh, in your book, huh? Instruction book. So you see, it stands out. It stands. Look how nice it is. Pin tuck, flat lock. Pintuck flat lock. Okay? That's one thing. That's two things, I'm sorry. On thin fabric, even thinner fabric, and on heavier fabric. Okay, now I'll show you how to do a nice rolled hem. So this is a sample, you see. This is our uh, Genome anniversary fabric. So what I did here, I did this sample with my Aeroflock. This is why it's so filled. How, look how nice it's filled here. And I'll do the next sample with the regular thread so you'll be able to see the difference in between them. So it is a rolled hem with three threads. So on my sample, this is my sample number one with my rolled hem at R. I'll show you the stitch length. And here, closer and here, longer stitch. You see in between. Now you see the, the stitch is longer. Closer, longer, regular R. Okay? With Aeroflock. Now I'll do it with a... Um, regular thread but I need again not again but I need to open my machine and I'll remove my foot to teach you something else and I'll do a close-up okay this is I'll remove this this is this little guy here see Ah, look at this. So when it's up here, your stitches are formed with this width around it. But now what I want to do, I want to do a rolled hem. R, my needle plate, R, rolled hem. Now my stitch will be formed just around the wire. Look at this, just around the wire. And by the way, my hand wheel is on the side. Always turn towards you. Always, always for the mechanism inside. And if you don't remember, there's an arrow. You know, you, uh, my camera cannot go that far, but there's an arrow. It tells you always turn the wheel towards you. Okay. So this is what I'm, I'm going to do. Rolled hem put my foot back snap whoops I don't want to attach the, 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 the threads okay and yes I need whoops I need my cutting of course to do a clean job and I'm putting back everything in place okay lower my foot and bring now this time I need to cut I really need to cut to do a, fin a nice edge okay but I want my stitches close so our rolled hem uh, whoops our okay now you see well our rolled hem with a line with this uh, this bro th this uh, mark okay so even if I go fast the machine is the stitches are so close that uh, so you see, I didn't touch any of the needle tension. So what, what happened? I have a three thread, very narrow, very, very narrow. 
but I want to do a rolled ham. What am I going to do? Everything I'm telling you is in your instruction book. Huh? So I'm going again to lower my uh, thread tension and increase my um, oh, the lower looper. Let's see if it's nice. Let's see. It's perfect. You see? Narrow edge here. Rolled hem. And look on the wrong side. Look how nice it is. It's perfect roll. So what do, do we mean by roll is the upper the upper thread, upper looper thread, upper looper thread went around my fabric, wrap my fabric totally. And my needle and my lower looper, they stitch together. So if you put a decorative uh, thread, it's always here, always on the top. Okay? So I did with the rolled, um, I did it with the, with the regular thread. Look here, I want to find the same, let me put this back, camera. So look at the difference in the filling with regular thread and with um, poly uh, woolly thread. You see the difference, it's more filled. And both are on stitch length R. So the difference between rolled hem or narrow hem hem is one is on one thickness of fabric it cuts it finish the edge while three thread narrow is sewing it's a sewing thread okay so to make decoration see the see the difference between the fluffy and the regular thread look at the regular thread fluffy fluffy is uh, it fill up more okay so this is the uh, uh, the model number 793 PG and of course a serger we're not used to use a serger we better we're more used with the uh, sewing machine uh, where a sewing machine is like instinctive but a serger is something more new so you have your instruction book in the instruction book, everything I'm telling you is right here. With the right adjustment and right needle and uh, on which fabric, look at the pin tucks. See? Pin tucking. Pin tucking stands out. Flat lock is flat. It's on the right side of the fabric. Okay? You don't cut. So everything is um, on, the, on your book. But, 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 last page. Okay, I tell I, I told you I'm doing it by eye. Okay, I just follow the mark on my um, on my serger. But if you want to do a real perfect job, let's say you're going to do uh, 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 this often, you know, for a wedding dress or wedding veil. Okay, so you need some. Um, Another foot, which is called, uh, let me find the word, the real word, Quatre. cording foot. You have two cording foot. So my point is with optional part, op optional attachment, you can add more and more and more technique. You can add technique, but also you can make the technique easier, like putting an elastic with uh, with the foot, it's, it's, it's the thing, you know, you don't have to pull. The machine is doing it for you. The foot is doing it for you. And um, it's easier and it's even. You want to gather, you want to guide, you want to do a, a blind hem, uh, uh, whatever you want to do with an, a, a, a optional accessories, it's easier. You can even add pearls. Okay, beading. So... It, everything is in your book, instruction book, okay? 
when you buy your machine maybe you go to a dealer or you go on the general mail website so you can print out the um, the uh, feature sheet of the machine and I like to keep this with my instruction book because sometimes say, oh what is the machine is doing oh yeah that's a three four three on my machine oh yeah that's true I didn't remember but it's 1300 stitch a minute oh look at the cutting width as narrow as 3.1 and as wide as 7.3 so you know it's just a help a reminder you know one day you'll know your machine by heart huh? but at the beginning it's really really helpful so 793 pg and i'll move the screen i'm too close sometimes i'm too close sometimes i'm too far so i wish you to enjoy and i hope you really learn something that we don't do often uh, with our serger so pin tucking on the right side of the fabric flat lock on the right side of the fabric and rolled hem you're cutting the hand the end of the fabric to make or narrow narrow m or um, rolled m okay so i wish you i wish you to enjoy your machine and thank you for watching in english we wrote that again bye bye everybody and enjoy your uh, new machine